Xbox 360 video. So we do in fact have another big improvement to the Xbox 360 bad update, which is of course the software only hypervisor exploit for the Xbox 360, which is a tethered exploit, which you have to load every time you reboot the console. But it can of course allow you to run your homebrew applications and essentially be very similar to something like a JTAG or an RGH, but just through software. Obviously it has its limitations compared to a JTAG or RGH, but it is still very useful for people who don't want to open up their console to be able to run homebrew and emulators and all of that stuff. So basically the advantage here is that we now have something called a bad avatar, which now uses the avatar application on the console to run the exploit instead of using Rock Band Blitz or another game. So you don't have to load up into a game in order to run the exploit. You can essentially just have it run as soon as the console boots which makes it feel more like an untethered exploit rather than a tethered exploit. It's still technically a tethered exploit, but the fact that it runs automatically with this whenever you boot up the console definitely has more of an untethered feel to it now, which is a big improvement here. So we're going to go ahead and check this out here in this video. So in order to get started, we're going to get our USB drive and plug it in to our console. I'm just going to start with a blank USB. If you already have the bad update set up on a USB, you can just install the bad avatar, which we'll cover in just a minute. But if you're setting it up for the first time, we're just going to head into our system settings here. We're going to go down to storage, make sure the USB drive is plugged in. If it's showing up as unformatted, you can press A on it. Otherwise, you can press Y for device options and format it. And basically, we just want to format the drive on the console itself because this will set up the USB and the correct partition scheme as well as the correct format. And then it should show up as a USB storage device here that you can store stuff on. So at that point, we can go ahead and simply unplug that USB and plug it into our computer. So we want to download the bad avatar. It's currently in public beta version 1.0. This is coming to us from developer Shutterbug2000. It says it's same as version 1.1, but just wanted to get a proper source out. So we've got all of the information here. Now you do need to have system update version 17559 installed on your console in order for this to work. I'll also cover how you can get that installed. But basically we just want to download a bad avatar public beta 1.0. Just download the latest version here from the zip file. Now in order to just quickly get all of the files installed, I'm going to again just use bad builder, which just makes it quick and easy. You can obviously install everything manually. I'll leave the links in the description to a bad update and uh, XE Unshackle and all of that stuff. I'll leave that all in the video description, but this just makes it quick and easy to get this stuff installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just download Bad Builder. And you can also download the .NET Framework. It requires version eight of the .NET Framework. So you can just go ahead and uh, download and install that if you cannot get the Bad Builder application running. So that is basically it. So with all of that, with our USB drive plugged in here, you can see it right here. So I'm gonna open up the Bad Builder and we'll press enter to build exploit USB, select our USB drive that we formatted on the Xbox 360 and press enter, and then Y for yes to reformat. And then it will give us all of the applications that we can install. We don't actually need Rock Band Blitz, so I can press space to unselect that. You can press space to select and unselect certain applications to install. We don't need Rock Band Blitz because we're not using that to run the exploit anymore with this. So that is all good and we can go ahead and just select everything else and then press enter to accept and that will download everything. And then for which program we want bad update to launch, we're gonna select XE Unshackle and press enter and that should get that installed. Now, would you like to add homebrew programs? I'm just gonna do N for no, cause I'm gonna add that manually. Your USB drive is ready to go. There we go, so that should be done. So when I go onto the USB drive, you can see it shows up here, bad update and it's got all of the files now added. I'll also go ahead and install the Aurora dashboard. I can just download the latest release here. And then I've got it opened here in 7-zip, which I'll leave in the description. And what I'll do is I'll just create a homebrew folder in here. And I'll go into that homebrew folder and I'll extract my Aurora dashboard in here. Okay, there we go, that is now installed. Now I'll just hold down the shift key on my keyboard, right click on aurora.xcx and copy as path. I'll also go ahead and open up the launch.ini file here, which is the dash launch configuration file. And I'm just going to change the default equals to automatically boot into Aurora. All I need to do is just change the file path. So it's USB colon backslash homebrew backslash Aurora.xex. And I'll get rid of the double quotes and that should be it. So I can go ahead and save that. 
and that's just how I'm going to have my bad update configured. So now once you have your bad updates USB set up, you can go ahead and install a bad avatar. So if we open up the zip file here, you can see we have bad update payload and a content folder. So we're just going to copy these two folders into the root of our USB drive to install it. It is as simple as that. So there we go. That should now be installed. Now, last but not least, if you don't have the 17559 dashboard installed, you're going to want to download the system update file for it, which I will leave linked in the description. You can just open up this zip file here and you'll see this dollar sign system update folder. You just want to copy that also into the root of your USB drive. And then when you plug it into the Xbox 360, if you don't already have the update installed, it should prompt you to install the system update, which will then extract it from this USB and install it. Uh, it's not recommended to install the update from Xbox Live, just in case uh, Microsoft changes something in the avatar update in the Xbox Live version that might patch this. So just install the update from a USB drive like this if you are on an older system version. So anyway, once we have everything installed on the USB, we can go ahead and eject the drive and plug it in to our Xbox 360. Okay, so once we're on the Xbox 360, if you plug in that USB drive, if you're not already on 17559, it will come up with a notification telling you to update. So just say yes to install it. Also make sure you're not connected to the internet at the moment. So just head into your network settings and obviously make sure you disconnect. I think if you're connected to one of the Wi-Fi networks, you can press Y to disconnect and that will disconnect you. So just make sure that you don't have you know, an internet connection on your console at the moment. So you need to make sure that you don't have auto sign in enabled on any of your profiles. Otherwise it will skip loading the update and it will just log into your normal profile. So we need to go ahead and head into our sign in preferences under profile here and just make sure that the auto sign in option is turned off on your profile. So that's the first thing. The second thing, if we sign out of my profile now and go to sign in, you can see at the top, we have a new profile showing up, a bad avatar. You don't actually want to sign into this profile either. It does not require signing into it to trigger this. And actually when you go to sign in, it gives you a passcode and that's to prevent accidental sign-ins because signing in while you're connected to Xbox Live to this profile could potentially result in a ban. So obviously we don't want to do that. So that's why that's protected there. So all we need to do with auto sign in turned off is we can now turn off our console and then turn it back on. Okay, we get Xbox 360 loading up. And then here we go. A bad avatar is free software. If you paid for it, demand a refund. Love it. Love to see it. Okay, so now we just wait. The advantage of something like Rock Band Blitz was that we had the rolling background. So you could tell if the exploit failed or froze because it would obviously, you know, that rolling background would freeze. In this case, you can scroll over the different profiles to make sure that the console hasn't frozen. So that's the, the way that you can check to make sure that the exploit is still running. Because again, it can take about, you know, 30 seconds to two minutes or so to actually run. And then obviously if the exploit fails, it will freeze and then you won't be able to scroll through the um, profile selection menu. And obviously you don't want to log into any profiles here because that will interrupt the exploit. You just want to leave it on this screen until it is successful. So we're just going to wait it out here and wait for this to actually load. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it will work first time. But if not, oh, yep, that's a success. There we go. XE Unshackle now running. And that is our software hypervisor exploit now up and running here. So we can press the back button to exit. Do not worry about my CPU key and DVD key. They were leaked like 15 years ago. It's all good. And we are on a black screen for a while, but there we have Aurora now loading because I obviously set up the dash launch configuration file to load Aurora and now it's scanning all of my content. Okay, and after loading up Aurora here, as you can see, we are now up and running with our exploits and we can load all of our games from in here. Now, I've, I've already gone ahead and set this up. Aurora takes a while to load up for the first time and you have to manually add your content here in the content section and add your, your path to scan for content. So I've already gone ahead and done this. I'm not showing that in this video because it's all covered in my previous video, which shows you how to set up the bad update from scratch and get everything set up to be able to access all of your content. 
And uh, obviously a word of warning as well is just to make sure you don't fully install Dash Launch via the application version or write anything to the flash partition on the storage. When you run XCX menu and you press the X button, you have your different partitions, which are the hard drive, the USB, but there's also a flash partition in there, which is like your NAND storage. So obviously you don't want to write anything to that. With this software only hypervisor exploit, it's booting into a retail NAND. So if you do anything that modifies the NAND, then it's not going to be able to boot. So that is a, it's going to be an issue. So obviously make sure you avoid writing anything to that flash partition. You know, do not write your NAND in simple 360 NAND flasher. Do not write anything to the flash partition and uh, do not fully install Dash Launch via the application version, which will actually um, also write stuff to the NAND and cause corruption. So you've got to be aware of that when you're using the software hypervisor exploit like this. But that is the general idea, the basic setup here with um, a bad avatar. If I go ahead and dashboard and hold down R1, that'll take me back to the normal dashboard. So it really is incredible to see the progress with this exploit going from taking forever to load and having like a 30% success rate and not really being that useful or practical to then having the massive reliability and speed improvements of having it load within about two minutes to now being able to also load it automatically as soon as the console boots so it feels more like an untethered exploit compared to a tethered exploit just makes a huge difference and again i'll leave my full xbox 360 bad update guide in the video description if you want to uh, learn how to kind of get aurora set up properly as well and various homebrew apps and dump your nand which you should do when you first load up the exploits to have a backup so all of that stuff as well. So anyway, that'll do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys 